Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam and welcome back to the festival mill. Today is the big one. We're going to be running through all of our festival essentials you need for this year's Reading and Leeds. If you're new around here, I do this video every single year and I also do loads of other festival content all throughout the year. This summer is going to be really ramped up from now. Well, to be fair, the last few weeks we've been uploading regularly. Um, we've got a couple more videos coming to you before Reading and Leeds weekend. So it's my best performing video each year. I just want to say thank you so much and I'm hoping this one blows out of the water. Today we're going to be talking about everything you need for this year's Reading and Leeds. Stick around to the end because I'm going to go through out of all the items that I said, the five must buys. And of course, what makes these videos unique is that I link every single product in the description down below. So if you really want to fast track it, just look down in the description down below. So what's going to be a bit different about this year is that every single item is going to have a screenshot on Amazon and that's going to correspond to the link in the description down below. People want a specific, so you're going to get specifics this year. Um, all the research can be conducted after this video is filmed, so I'm going to tell you what you want. It's going to be a screenshot of the item to get and um, based on reviews and everything like that and price. And then you can find that exact item in the description down below, perhaps with an alternative on some items. So this year is going to be nice and simple. It's going to be toiletries, food and drink, camping, other, and then your five must buys at the end. Last year we did a whole section on the prep guy side of things, but we've just done a video called what to expect at Reading Leeds. And that's kind of like your preparation guide. So go check out that one. If you notice, this year is going to be a lot snappier. I feel like when people watch these videos, they want it to be really, really quick and they want to see right what they got to take. So I'm going to try and make it as snappy as possible. So let's start with toiletries. So first of all, what can be included in toiletries is a collapsible water bottle. I got this on the very first year I ever went to Reading and Leeds. It was about £10, probably less than that, probably £5 from Home Bargains, and they're a lifesaver. They're 10 litre, they fold up, so they're nice and easy to transport there, and then you get loads of water, so it saves you keep doing those runs all day to the water point, and it means then you can fill up perhaps another water bottle, which I'd also suggest to take. But get your big water bottle as a must, drink out of that, worst case, but then maybe take another bottle container to also drink out of. Links in the description down below. Big one, wet wipes. Of course you're gonna need wet wipes. You're gonna be there for five days, you're gonna be stinking, but if you don't really want to wait for those long, long shower cues, then get yourself some wet wipes and then you can make sure that your arms, your armpits, everywhere is clean. And also get yourself biodegradable ones, help the planet. The cues can be savage, so you're going to want to get yourself some sun cream and face sun cream, especially if you're at Reading. Leeds, I wouldn't worry about it, but at Reading, you're going to need sun cream because your face can get burned, your neck can get burned, your arms can get burned. We've seen some horror pictures, so make sure you're covered. Of course, get yourself a toothbrush to take. Um, either just take your normal one, but what I normally do is either take a bamboo one or a fold up one. Just makes it a lot easier for transportation. You want to pack light. Um, of course, get some toothpaste to go with that, uh, just so you're covered for the week. Toilet seat covers. Yes, take some toilet seat covers if you want some because the toilets can be disgusting. So it could be a good idea, especially if you're a girl, you may want to put down some cover or some tissue. Maybe just take some toilet roll. Toilet roll is another thing to take but it's just to make sure you're a little bit happier going into the horrible, horrible toilets. Take your hairbrush as well, especially if you're a girl or a boy with longer hair, you're gonna wanna keep in your hair on top, so make sure you take your hairbrush, because it's one of those things that's very easy to forget. Loot for this year, energy tablets. A girl commented on my video last year saying that they are an absolute lifesaver. So, description down below for some energy tablets. To go with that, if you're drinking a lot of cider, make sure you get some Rennies just to sort out that heartburn that it can really hurt. Um, I've had it a couple of years because when you're only drinking cider for the weekend, it can be a little bit grim. So if you're going to be planning on doing that, make sure you cover yourself with some rennies. Dry shampoo is another good one. You can just spray it in, get one of the small travel cans and you're going to be absolutely set if you've got long hair. Of course, another thing to get is some deodorant. You want to make sure you're going to be smelling nice throughout the whole weekend. Maybe take a small bottle of aftershave or perfume, like a travel size bottle, just to make sure you're covered. Of course, the last thing to take is some paracetamol in case you've got those hangovers. Okay, let's go over to the exciting bit. Let's go over to camping. First couple of items that also link into camping, of course, that big collapsible water bottle and also a drinks pouch or a water bottle. Make sure you take them, stay hydrated throughout the whole weekend. First of all, you're going to want a tent. I'd also say the amount of people that are staying in it, double it. So if there's one of you, get one of them two-man tents. If there's two of you, get a four-man tent and so on. Uh, it just makes it a lot more comfortable. Two of you can fit in a two-man, but it's going to be very cramped and you're going to get very acquainted with each other. I definitely recommend a decent tent. Links in the description down below, all sorts of sizes. You see a tent is a must-buy, but our first real must-buy is a four-wheeler trolley. Do not get a two-wheeler trolley and wrap it around with loads of tape and cellophane. You do not do that. It's gonna go wrong. You're gonna be spilling everything everywhere. So get a four-wheeler trolley. If you can spend more money on it, please, please do, because then it's not gonna break. 
It's going to be sturdy and durable. There's going to be three or four different types in the description down below. Please, please get one of those. A warm sleeping bag. I can't stress to you how much a warm sleeping bag helps. Get one with a higher tog. Get one that's slightly more expensive if you can afford it because it will be a lifesaver. I went the first year I ever went to Reading, got a really cheap sleeping bag and I was freezing. Ever since then I've been hot because I've had a hot, decent, warm sleeping bag and I can't tell you how much it helps. I'm going to link in the description down below a camping chair, but one thing I may suggest to do is pop to Tesco, pop to Asda. They often do deals like two for 12, two for nine, something like that on camping chairs. Just get one of them, that will sort you, but I will put a link in the description down below if it's nice and easy for you to get one off Amazon. Okay, so I sleep on an air mat, which is one that's about that thick and they self inflate. You blow it up the first time, you roll it up and every time you undo the nozzle, it blows up itself. I'd suggest one of them, a roll mat. Get yourself one of them if you want. If not, get yourself a pump, get yourself an airbed. I would have said to get one from Wilco, but it's not looking like Wilco is uh, staying around much longer. So I'll link one in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, make sure you get yourself an air pump, a mattress or an air mat. I would suggest a mat, but it's completely up to you. Ground sheets can be essential just due to the fact that if you've got a little grassy area outside or you want to put that extra protection on the base layer of your tent, then a ground sheet is always essential to take. Poncho, a poncho could be a good one or like a rain mac or something like that, just to keep you covered in case it does rain, especially those of you who go, especially for those of you who are going to Leeds, but no, a poncho can be really good. Do so you want to get a camping light or a torch? Completely up to you, but at night it can get really dark, especially around your camping area when you're trying to find your tent. Um, and it's quite nice to have a little light in your tent. So it's completely up to you what you do, but I would always suggest to get both. So last year I suggested a cool box to keep your beers cold. But I did see an interesting comment on my video last year. They said take an inflatable pool, small one, tiny one, um, and then you can blow that up with your air mattress pump or your mouth and you can fold it up and it doesn't it's not big and chunky like a cool box so i thought actually when you get some ice from the cart when you're there that could actually be a really smart shout so i'm going to link both down in the description it can get a little bit boring around the camp so make sure you get yourself some pack of cards or uno or something like that just keep yourself entertained perhaps tie in some drinking games i'd always suggest to take one of them because they can be really good fun and especially for days like the Wednesday and the Thursday when you just chat, chilling, having a few drinks, can be good fun. This one's for Leeds fans. Um, one thing I would definitely say is take some wellies or put some in the boot of your car if you're driving because you never know when you're going to need them. There could be a downpour over the weekend that's going to cover you. But in terms of footwear, just take something suitable, trainers, walking shoes, anything like that. I'm not going to link any trainers in the description because it's completely up to you, but you know what's suitable. I'd recommend flip-flops or crocs just for when you're chilling and not want to put on full trainers. That's completely up to you again, of course, but I always take a pair of crocs as well. A decent backpack. You'd be surprised how much a backpack can affect your weekend. I once took one of those sort of drawstringy um, duffel bags and that was not nice because it was really digging into my shoulder. So if you can get yourself a nice camping backpack, again, a good one in the description, then that's going to be a lifesaver too because it's going to be a lot comfier from going all the way to the car or your train or your transport to your camping spot, especially on that first day. Duct tape's another saver. Um, you'd be surprised how many times a tent may rip and a little bit of duct tape can stop any water getting in if it is a bad weekend of weather, especially in Leeds. <laughs> the one that I would suggest, that one that is very easy to forget, is just take a bum bag because when you go out of camp, you want to put your phone in there, you want to know everything's safe, any sort of important portable charges, that sort of thing. And it just saves you carry them in your pocket. So I'd definitely recommend a bum bag and a bucket hat as well. If you, want to be, if you want to know exactly where your tent is, one thing that can help is a flag or use Google Maps and stick a pin where your tent is because then you know you're never ever gonna lose it. Okay, so we're gonna run through food and drink because it's not gonna be in the description, but I would just suggest to take stuff like cereal bars, tin fruit, pot noodle, porridge pots, just little things to keep you going in between those meals you do buy at the festival and you're gonna be absolutely sorted for when you just want to chill in at camp, want a quick snack, and then you can head out for the rest of the day in the arena. In terms of drinks, obviously take whatever beers, cider, spirits you want. Just make sure you take no glass, take them, make sure they're all either in cans or in bottles. Normally you can take as much as you want into the campsite. Um, and of course this year you're not allowed vapes, you're not allowed to go to the barbecues and you're not allowed uh, fires or campfires. So please make sure you're not taking in any of those to avoid risk of having them confiscated. But yeah, I'd say probably get yourself a squash squeezy thing if you want to make your water taste a little bit nicer but really you're going to be fine don't overpack it don't stress it make, take a you know a box or two of cereal bars 
two or three pot noodles and you'll be absolutely fine, I promise you, as long as you're gonna be getting food in there. If you're definitely not gonna do that, you don't wanna spend the money, then do get stuff before and take that little bit extra. Okay, and then finally, this is gonna be kind of other slash must buys, but your others are gonna include. Make sure you're taking your cards, your IDs, your sort of wallet, your phone, that sort of thing. Okay, a huge must buy and a must bring is a portable charger and get a good one. You want one like an anchor one um, because they're gonna be so much better, so much more durable, so much, so many more charges as well. Make sure it's all charged up before you go because you don't wanna be roped into buying one of those, um, what is it, charge candies where you get one, give one back and so on. So make sure you get a good one. Comments down below, uh, description down below and there's gonna be a good one in there for you. If you definitely want one with like 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, 20,000 milliamp hours, then you know your phone's gonna be good for like five, six, seven charges. Speaker as well, for when you're chilling around camp, that's good fun, definitely get yourself a speaker. Again, I'd definitely recommend Anchor, 24 hour battery life, cheap, durable, that's one we always take. And of course, don't forget your tickets. I know a lot of them are e-tickets now, but it's one of those things that you may not download it in advance, but you really, really must remember your tickets. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. But please do put them down in the comments below if there's anything I've missed just to help out those other people. Um, and I can add the links in the description down below. But please do go down there, see what you wanna get. There'll be different alternatives, that sort of thing. Everything that's come up on screen should be in the description down below. And yeah, it's been a bit of a quicker one this year, but I know that people want it snappy. People wanna just see what they wanna take. I'm gonna have words, I'm gonna have screenshots. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Um, of course, my name's been Adam, this is the Festival Mail. Please do subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Like, share it, share it with your friends. Um, it re I really, really would appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys, and enjoy the festival.